Hi this is Paul from finishyoursong.com and in this video we're continuing to have a look at an introduction to the logical editor in Cubase. What I want to do in this video is to have a look at the first sort of thing that I used uh, the logical editor for back when I was working with Cubase on the Atari. And what I used it for primarily was to provide some variety in note volume on drum parts I was working on. What I've got here in front of us is a standard drum part from the Easy Drummer Americana drum set, one of the patterns that comes with it. Um, and for the purposes of, of this, what I want to do is to create a four bar drum part at the end of this verse, which accelerates the feel of the song and I want to do this by programming it myself rather than using one of their drum parts um, but what I want to do is to make sure that it doesn't sound like the drummer's suddenly woken up or gone to sleep in terms of how hard he's actually hitting the individual drums so we'll just have a quick listen to the drum part itself then we'll write a new drum part and then what we'll do is make the new part sound like the existing part. So it's a half time feel. So what I'm going to do here now is create a new part there and we'll just open that up for editing in the drum map. Give ourselves a bit of space and then we'll just put some drums in. And we'll put the snare in. Standard Edmunds drum fill. And then we'll put in the closed hi-hat. Now they're using the tie hat, tight hi-hat but I want him to accelerate a bit so we'll just put in, we'll set our quantize at 16 to give me the value I want and we'll just go for the closed hi-hat tip okay and we'll get rid of those two. So he's now going to go really fast on the hi-hat. But if we now have a listen to the drum parts back to back, you'll notice that there's a, a big disparity between the volumes. So kick drum is somewhere in the ballpark but the snare is too quiet and the hi-hat is way too loud. So let's have a look at this drum part here and if we have a look at the velocity and we highlight the hi-hat we'll see that the hi-hat values are somewhere between that's 67, that's the highest one, that's around 77, 77, 67. So what we can do is we can go into here and we can go into the logical editor and if we go back and we find that random notes, random velocity what we want to say is we want the value 1 which is the note to be equal to C sharp 3 that's our hi-hat value C sharp 3 and we want it to be between 67 and 77 
I'm going to transform and apply and if you watch the closed hi-hat you'll see they've changed values so if we just highlight those now you'll see we've now got them between 67 and 77 we'll go back into here and have a look at our kick which apart from that last one the kick values are around 119 117 127 119 119 I'm looking over here to read the velocity values 116 so 116 to 127 so we come back into here C1 MIDI logical editor and the value is C1 and we want 116 to 127 it'll set a random value between and there we are our bass drum our kick drum has just gone a brighter shade of red and then we'll come back to the snare same again highlight those snare on D1 is 121 23, 122. So that's 120. It's about, well, there we are. That's the lowest one. And that's 118. So 118 to 127. Highlight them. Select the logical editor. And it's a D1. 118 to 127 apply one of the benefits of the modern version of Cubase is that you can actually do this within the drum editor under the old version of Cubase and the Atari you had to take out the drum mapping apply your logical editor changes and then put the drum mapping back on which was a right royal pain but if we now have a listen to our two parts back to back we should find that apart from the hi-hat going a lot faster the two parts sound similar in their velocity values. The snare sounds out of time, but we can fix that afterwards. Looks all right. I think everything's got slightly moved some stage oh I, I know what it is I had um, the quantize set beforehand so if I've got the iterative quantize on so if I just hit Q that should be better I'll hit that again bring them back a bit more in line let's give it another go So there you go, that's the logical editor, an example of how you can use it, a bit of a sneak peek at quantizing as well which is something I'm going to come on to in a future video when I look at how to get things closer on the grid without actually making them robotically straight. Hope that helps and if you're watching it the week I'm posting it, may I take this opportunity to wish you all a very happy new year. Um, there won't be a video next week. Um, but if you're watching this in 2014 and on, I hope it was a happy new year and there will be a video next week. Uh, but in the meantime, whenever you're watching this, you take care of yourselves. <laughs>